So here's my current AI workflow when it comes to coding at the end of 2025 going into 2026. So for my editor, I've been using Cursor. I pay for the basic $20 a month subscription. And the only reason why I pay for it is because of their Cursor tab autocomplete. There simply isn't anything else on the market right now that just compares and I cannot live without it. And for me, paying the subscription just for that is completely worth it. Then when it comes to my agentic coding, I've honestly tried them all. I tried Cursor, I tried Windsurf, I tried Open Code, and I finally set settled on Cloud Code, which seems to be the one that kind of gives me everything that I want in the best package. Which for me, really, the only thing that I really care about is using the Cloud models for code, right? So Sonnet 4.5, Opus 4.5, they are my favorite. I just want to use them and then not paying an arm and a leg for them. I'm on the basic $20 a month subscription for Cloud as well. And the limits on that are completely sufficient for what I want to do in my own code with agentic coding. And then there's other things like asking a question or using AI as a soundboard when it comes to my code. I've actually been using a lot of Grok code inside of Cursor simply because Grok code is currently free right now and it's incredibly fast. And for a simple question, it usually does the job pretty well. If I need something that is a little bit more search based, so for example, I'm trying to find something in your documentation or ask how something is done, I'll usually default default to the AI mode on Google, I find it's really good for that. And it pulls the sources and I can use the sources to investigate myself if I want to. And finally, for anything else, if I have a question about product or just something else that doesn't really fit into all these other categories, I still use ChatGPT. I'm on the free tier. I just use it for like a couple messages and then I'm pretty much done. And that's really my current AI workflow at the end of this year, going into next year. What is yours? I would love to find out. Leave me a comment down below.